lifelong dream of mine has always been to create something and to create something good. I started applying this process pretty early on. When I was 10, I made a YouTube channel dedicated to absolutely nothing. It was just me making videos about whatever I wanted. There was no process, methods, or style. If someone then had asked me how I went about making my YouTube videos, I most likely would not have been able to give them a definitive answer. I was just having fun. Eventually, I decided to step away from doing that and focus more on a specific thing, which was commentating about certain topics over gameplay footage. This allowed me to develop a creative process on how I made my videos. By all means, they weren't good, but the process that stemmed from the creation of these videos would eventually become very important. After about a year or so of doing that, I decided to once again step away and focus on something I had always enjoyed, rap. Throughout both of these former YouTube channels, one thing stayed constant. I always loved to listen to rap music. So, using that logic, I decided to take a stab at it myself. So, I opened up a paper doc on my computer, found some beats, wrote some lyrics, used GarageBand to record those lyrics, and before I knew it, I had an album, Intertwined. It was a 33-minute long, 10-song project filled with some of the worst audio that could still be technically considered music known to humankind. It was terrible, and I'm not proud of it, but it laid the groundwork for something to blossom. Immediately after that album released, I started writing more and more and more. I studied some of the greatest rappers to ever live, like Eminem, Tupac, Biggie, and Nas. These were my mentors. I studied their rhyme schemes, their craft, their delivery, their emotion, their cadence, and their style. And within another month, I had released yet another album, Desolate. I repeated the same process twice more, taking six months for the next album and seven for the next, sprinkling in some singles along the way. And we're up to the present. As I made better music, I also learned how to create it more efficiently. I learned how to use audio equipment. I learned how to mix and master my songs. I'm even getting into the realm of producing now. And going on this creative journey has been wonderful, as it has taught me so many things about myself. I learned how to use situations and things happening around me as subject material for my songs. I learned how to cope with difficult situations in my life by putting them into rap form, and I learned how I work best and most effectively. It gave me something to look forward to every day. I would come home from school, listen to music, study it, and try and incorporate the elements that I was hearing into my next song or album. This improved my mental health and made me feel happy. This was because since so much of what I learned in school was useless and boring, I felt energized by the fact that I could actually use something I was doing outside of school for something I enjoyed. Rap has changed me as a person. It's allowed me to express myself through different creative avenues that I didn't know existed. It's allowed me to find a voice, to meet new people, and to develop my own creative process. I've even found that my music has affected other people in positive ways, too. On my school's website, there is a section dedicated for students to shout out other students for doing nice things for them. One of my friends graciously decided to do this for me. In his shout out, he wrote, Ben's music also decreased the amount of stress I have, which led to me feeling a lot happier and being able to sleep easier. Ben's music has gotten me through such hard times in life, especially during the pandemic. This came as quite a shock to me, as I had never before imagined that simply my making of music could impact someone else's life so positively. But although it was a surprise, it was a welcome one, and I have used this new information to try and form how I make rap songs to not only inspire myself, but others as well. As I continue to grow my audience, better my creative process, and become a more knowledgeable and intuitive rapper, I will reflect on my past, secure my present, and embrace my future. I don't know what'll happen in a month, six, or 12, but whatever does happen, I'm all here for it. And that's not only within the bounds of how I create my music, but how I go about using it to inspire myself and others. Maybe I'll become a star, but for now, I'm slowly expanding, waiting for opportunities, and seizing them when the time is right. And that is something my 10-year-old self would be proud of.